<laughs> hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and my friend Aaron Turpin with me, Aaron and Autos on YouTube. Uh, we're just having fun here in a Honda HRV. This is the smallest SUV, CUV thingy that Honda built. Um, second best seller. Second best seller, yes. Yeah. Uh, it makes sense. This is $30,500 with some change. And we're driving here outside of the Red Rock area in Colorado. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Doing the twisty bits, as you like to say. Yeah. Overall, it's, it handles fine. I mean, a little bit <laughs> the engine. I, I don't know what we have in the, in the hood. I don't remember the press release on that, but oh, I can look he's gonna look it up. But yeah, we uh. It's interesting. It, you don't have a lot, a little bit of a lag to get going, you know, uh, but not o not overly bad. You just can't. You know, I'm in normal drive mode. I'm sure if I could put the sport, I'd hit. I have econ. I have snow. I have normal econ and and snow. Yeah, I think and I have an S. I have a shifter. Yeah. So I'm gonna do shifter into S. I think that's what they're. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. that that's sport mode. So you have a drive. I'll put some video on the screen. But you have drive, sport, and low on the gift gear shifter. Um, I'm gonna say pretty good size windshield for the size of vehicle. Lots of good visibility. Um, the dash has the iPad that's been taped on top of it. it has a look to it, but there's no more room in this vehicle. It's a small, compact SUV. And mm -hmm. then has some interesting styling on the inside. I'll pull over here in a little bit, and we'll talk about that. And uh, I kind of got my attention because a good seller from Honda, but also b I thought the color was pretty cool. Yeah, it's a good color. Yeah, and it's you know for thirty thousand dollars, this isn't a bad vehicle at all for you considering no. what, what you're paying for it. Yeah, so, and my headroom is, okay, your headroom's... Pretty good, moderate. I had to move the seat a little. Yeah, but you're six, what, six, six two? Three. Six three. so yeah. I sat in the back seats. It's okay, you know, for a kid-sized vehicle. A little hard to get out for me as far as the back seats go, but I'm not the most limber person, so could the, be taken. The back doors do open to almost full 90 degrees, though. That makes getting in and out a lot easier. Right, unless somebody's parked next to you. Yeah. Which, I, that's what I found the problem was. And I, and I think on this one, we do have to do the asterisk, this is a pre-production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so particular one. we're at the uh, 2022 RMAP, Rocky Mountain Media of Automotive Press, Rocky Mountain Driving Experience. And we're driving this here. Just a short little quick drive. I just want to kind of... Uh, I'll talk to you a few thoughts on this. So initial drive, uh, a little a little loud in the cabin, but thirty thousand dollars. A little bit underpowered in normal mode. It's a little bitty two cylinder. Yeah. It's not turboed, so it's struggling. And then you have a CVT to suck the life out of it. Yeah. So I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the powertrain, but I'm I like the styling of it. As long as you're not used to driving aggressively, I think it'll be okay. I think for the market this is for the powertrain's fine. Yeah. People that buy this, they're not they're not buying a sports car. No, this is uh, so it's not going to matter that much to them. Yeah. And we're just talking about a little bit on the way up, you know, people talk about how expensive cars are getting and how expensive the high-end cars are getting, especially the fully loaded trim levels and stuff, but the secret is the entry level cars are getting uh, not as expensive and they're getting more filled with standard safety equipment. And so you're getting a much safer vehicle, much more reliable vehicle for a lot less money these days. I mean, base model vehicles now have collision avoidance and all kinds of stuff as standard equipment. Yeah, we have a backup camera in this and we have sensors. I mean, this is, it's got the equipment to, you know, make sure that, well, we don't kill this biker. So we're not gonna hit the biker while he's going up the hill. And uh, these less... are those crazy people that ride their bicycles up mountains. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it's it's something. I used to do that. I used to Colorado. actually do this. Yes, I used to do this, but I was a lot younger back then. Didn't have the gray hair in my, my beard. <laughs> I did a downhill. We used to drive up to the top. Oh, yeah. And then ride down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is devolving somewhere else. So uh, let's pull over and go ahead and do the exterior and interior. Okay. <laughs> This is called Nordic Forest. No, not that. The color of the vehicle. And so this is the HRV. This is a little bit interesting, a little bit of a bug view here. It sticks out a little bit more than I thought. I thought it'd be more of a sharp thing, but it's not. It comes out a little bit, which is fine. Uh, the kind of honeycomb grill, honeycomb spoiler down there as well. LED lights on the side as far as the, not, these are halogens, but the LED um, 
turn signal lights, daytime running lights, and then on the sides we have some Hancock. What are these? Uh, let's see. Two 1560 R17s. Uh, this is your side profile. Pretty sleek side profile. We do have the, the moonroof on top and then come around the sides. So this is why I was talking about these doors. If you have nobody next to you, they actually open up pretty good. But back here, some seats, a little bit of storage, a little storage bin, and maybe a spot eventually for USBs and such. This, again, pre-production vehicle. Uh, could be in production vehicles. This is just pre-production. Come around the back. Kind of finishes off pretty nicely. Good styling lines, right? And then let's check out the trunk area. Open the hatch, as they would call it. Yeah, it's pretty good storage back here. I mean, yeah, you're probably gonna fit maybe one set of golf clubs, maybe a couple roller bags, some groceries, not a lot, but you have some storage room back there. And then we have some storage as well. And we should have a real size spare down there too. Yay! Real size spare. So we'll get that. And then a little button there. So let me show you the interior real fast. And I left it running so you can hear it kind of running. My water bottle kind of fits in there. Interesting spot. Controls. This is that honeycomb girl I was talking about. Interesting styling there. And you can see it going all the way across. And then the shifter. This is the park, reverse, neutral, drive, sport mode, low mode. We do have a little slot down here with the USB charger there. It's kind of nice. We have wireless USB charger there. Flip the controls there. This is that iPad screen that's kind of tapped. Looks like it's on, but they have nowhere else to put it, right? And it seems like it's, I don't know, pretty quick. Going back and forth. It's right there. There's your visibility. There's your steering wheel controls. And then there is the styling, the double stitching, right? It's double stitching there. Really nice seats. Pretty comfortable so far. And then you have the little moonroof. So, I don't know, overall it's a pretty good looking ride and I can see why it's gonna sell quite a bit. So, you know, what are your thoughts? What do you think? Is it a good upgrade? Is it something you'd actually check and shop for? Gonna buy somebody maybe entry level family, buy yourself, first car? Could be something you definitely check out, you know? So, put your comments down below. And the video's over here. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.